News television has done a lot for the Chamber of Commerce. Uh, last year in 2020, and we survived 2020, y'all. Um, it was a year that we had to pivot, think outside the box, um, use resources we had not used before. And uh, we knew a lot of folks were not getting out of their buildings, weren't coming out of their homes. And so we enlisted John Daly um, from News Television to be our person that went out and interviewed folks. Um, he was a, like an arm of the Chamber of Commerce, basically, and we valued everything that he did. Many of our feeds get up to 3,000 to 5,000 views. And with the many that he does for the Chamber, we feel like we're communicating our Chamber story, we're supporting our small business partners, and um, actually news really helped us a lot in 2020, 2021 as we go forward. The news yeah. story shot, yeah. and it yeah. dropped. Know, and it dropped know. on my social media and it dropped online. Yeah. What? Yeah. I could not believe it. The whole social media site blew up. I have never had that many hits <laughs> ever in life. And the orders came shortly thereafter. So I recommend news to any small business owner larger business owner, anyone who's trying to increase their visibility, I absolutely recommend news. I'm a devoted fan at this point. News TV has opened a ton of doors for us to communicate with our community, especially with all of the hardships that we've experienced here over the last year. Um, we've had to overjump some hurdles and news definitely helped us create a connection between the community on getting our word out to the people um, with ease and smoothness that was able to truly create an experience that not only we were able to benefit from, but also the community members were also to benefit from as well. Well, you know, uh, when you guys came by to uh, do that video, we were in, I don't say dire straits, but I think everyone was kind of in the same boat in the middle of a pandemic. Um, just getting that exposure that you guys offered to us really was helpful. Getting the word out about you know, Exit Grill in general in this area. Still a lot of people didn't know about us. Uh, we didn't have, really have a chance to get into doing all that stuff before it hit. You know, we had to close down briefly for a few weeks uh, before you came just because we just didn't have the uh, customer base built. So. Getting that exposure from that video really helped us establish a stronger customer base, got the word out about you know what we had here to offer, and we really saw a, a, a decent increase from uh, the exposure we got from that. So it was a really, really great experience for us. Oh gosh, this has been really helpful with just getting our business out there. Um, people are, they don't trust the mainstream media anymore. <laughs> you can see that. Uh, so the, the social media marketing has been incredible. Um, and, and being able to, to be on Facebook um, and, and people looking us up on YouTube. I mean, we have so many people that say, I saw your video, um, we decided to stop by. And um, it just, this is, this is the way of the future is, is all your marketing being online. And this has been a, a great help for us. John Daly with News TV has actually come out and done some videos with Silver Coast Winery, our main location in Ocean Isle Beach. It has increased um, viewership as far as our, on our Facebook page, on our website. We've gotten a lot of hits on that. We've also gotten a lot of comments about the video and what we'll be doing and they're wondering when the new cab's coming out because that was the first video we did. Um, John has also come and done several uh, lives here at Silver Coast Winery Marker 1 which is in Carolina Shores and we've also posted those videos. We're getting a lot of um, traffic on that through our Facebook page, uh, people commenting on seeing the video and bringing some new customers in here to us.